Uh, we live. Helps if I get the live preview going first. Helps if I get the live preview going. Okay. Let's continue space exploration. Hey, I am Suck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so the last thing we did was make a memory cell that records the lowest value that it's been given. And we might just... Okay, what is it? 9.5 minutes, 2.5 minutes. In 7 minutes, we need to uh, come back here and confirm that that's working properly, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, the wall is complete, pretty much. Fantastic. We have more coal, more iron, and I actually couldn't help but notice earlier, oh, we actually already had some coal in the territory we've taken. Probably should take advantage of that. That's not coal, is it? No. Okay, cool. So we've got some mines to make. I did figure out how we are going to make sure that uh, actual mines, as opposed to the resources that come from pulverizing the core fragments. Um, we're not going to be sending resources straight from, like, an iron mine, well, more, ac more, more likely a copper mine, to the resource destruction system. And it turns out, if I... If I've figured this out right, all we're going to need is to use LTN's uh, encoded network ID signal. So what we've done with that already, uh, by default in LTN, if you do not give, um, if you do not supply a network ID, it'll have a value of negative one which means basically that this train station is connected to all networks. It can interact with every network. Um, if you give it a value, it works in binary, so that looks cool. Uh, it works in binary so that you can have a station on multiple specific networks, but we've put this one on network one and at our storage system, because we don't want to take out of storage to put into the trash, the uh, drop-off station to the storage is encoded network ID 1, and the pickup is encoded network ID 2. So they are on separate virtual networks. Um, they are allowed to interact with stations that have no encoded network ID, the default to negative one. So stations, other stations can drop off here, other stations can pick up from here, but these two can't interact with each other. So you don't get trains going round and round in circles. Uh, a slight extension from that is if we also give this one an encoded network ID of one, same as the drop offs for storage, uh, we won't be taking items out of storage and straight into the trash. So we're only trashing things if storage is full for that type of item. If we add just a little bit more of that same logic, uh, I'm pretty sure all we have to do to make sure we don't immediately throw away copper from a copper mine even though we are overproducing it, 
is to give it the same network ID as these pickup stations here. So actual mines are going to have encoded network ID 2. They can interact with stations that have no network ID. So for example, they can drop off copper to actually useful places. Uh, they, I suppose they won't be able to drop off to storage, but that's fine. Storage is not necessary for actual mines. Uh, we need storage because, well, we sort of need storage because of the variety resources that come out of the pulverizers in a specific ratio. So yeah, that's actually going to be surprisingly easy to fix. Um, all we have to do is uh, go to our actual mines when we create them or patch the ones that exist and add encoded network ID 2. And then we can put this back. We could also perhaps make this a lower priority so that we're picking up from the storage first. Um, storage pickup. I could just make that a higher priority instead. Where is it? Here's a pickup. Yeah, we could bump the priority up on these ones a little bit, I think. Is there any advantage to placing a core miner on an iron patch? I don't believe so. I'm pretty sure they do the same thing no matter where you place them. All right, so let's get to creating our next iron patch. Um, I would actually like to extend this rail right here out. So we're going to have to remove what we've already got that's in the way. Um, I should have this blacklist deconstruction planner for that. Uh, we just want to avoid removing the solar panels, power poles, and roboports until we're almost done. A baker staunch. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, we've got uh, one, two, three, four mines to build. We've got to patch our existing mines so that they are on encoded network ID 2 so that their resources never get wasted. Uh, we only want to waste, quote unquote waste, uh, variety resources that we've got too much of that are blocking the production of more resources. Uh, so this one is going to be encoded network ID 2. I probably should have a minimum train length of 6 here. Uh, there's an iron mine over here still. ID 2. A e horizon effect. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, this iron mine still exists. It's rather slow because we were worried about pollution when we created it. Not so much now. Uh, any more? One, two, three, four. I think that's it for physical mines, like for solid objects. Oh, there's a... Uh, stone, which I'm not terribly concerned about, but uh, but we'll do this anyway. Okay, uh, let's put on the old performance mode and immediately gain like 5 UPS. Let's see how our 
um, I think we might be lacking a storage chest over here. Let's go do something about it. And we also have a few rude worms still inside the uh, inside the wall. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit. And check where we're going. Turn off our RoboPort, because otherwise our bots will never stop. And grab a storage chest. Right about... I guess we're not taking advantage of the logistic bots if we uh, put the storage chest all the way up there. So why don't we put it somewhere in the middle? There we go. Now they're all in motion. I would like to get rid of these other no longer needed walls as well. Um, that one's an easy one to deconstruct. Although I don't want to remove too many big power poles. Don't need the wood. Okay. And over here. I'm not going to worry too much about the crude oil. Every time I check on the storage over here, it's completely full. So I'm not going to spend too much time trying to uh, salvage it. I saw some bots hovering here as well. They need some storage chests. I wonder if that's been causing any issues. We've had some odd behavior at the train stop over here. A hey, Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That should be way more than enough. And then I would like to extend this. Uh, I want to follow the pattern of the square blocks that we've already got. What's the plan for today? Hey, I am Vera. Good to see you you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I've lost count of how many yays that is. Thank you. Okay. So, um, what's on the, what's the plan for today? We've got, uh, one, two, three, four mines to build. Um, I did figure out today how to... Well, I haven't actually tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure... That? What? How? What? How did this happen? Didn't we have this on a timer to make sure it doesn't do that? Oh, no. Well, we're not losing bots, at least. Um, that's... That's a problem. Well, it's, it's not really a problem, but it's not great. Maybe I should change the timer. Um, I'll change it to, like, one minute for now. If I can figure out... 
No, wait, there's no timer on this. We set it up to never fire when... Uh, unless all of the bots have calmed down. So what's happening here? Um, if everything equals zero, output one, negative one. So if there's no... If there's no resources in the network, do not do delivery cannon capsule pickup. That's loud. Delivery cannon capsule, 600. Okay, if X minus Y, if Z, out, X minus Y output logistic bot, Z minus T output construction bot, X minus Y should be zero only when all of the bots have stopped. Available bots minus total logistic bots, right? No, um, X minus Y. Yeah, ava like available construction bots 497 minus total 497 equals zero. X minus Y, that's logistic bots. Z minus T, that is construction bots. And then if everything is equal to zero output one, which we're not doing. And then if delivery cannon capsule is less than 600, output delivery cannon capsule. I thought I remembered adding like 12 combinators here for timing reasons. Um, if delivery cannon capsule is less than 600 output input count, and it's a memory cell. So when this is true, 10 seconds pass, and it resets. If that is less than 6, okay, yeah, that makes sense. We only put in a delivery cap cannon capsule every, I guess, 10 seconds. Except that's not working right now. Because this isn't outputting anything. Uh, whoops. Um, how about we say greater than 550, uh, 595. I don't know how that appeared to be working earlier if I set it up like that before. They need to run through their delivery cannon capsules that they still have before they stop. So a few of these is uh, going to keep firing for a little bit. Uh, why do some of them still have so many? Too early in the morning to be this happy? System reboot required, yeah. Okay, so there's a few of them. Oh, they don't have the stone filter now. I wonder why. Wait, all of these are set to stone. And we're not using... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stone is just what we put in the cannon capsules, and we put the other resources in the chests that we destroy. So we don't have to set recipes on these. Why are we not picking up stone? Because there's no stone here. So that only stopped because we ran out. Um, not only, but it stopped now because we ran out. There's a few of these that have some leftover cannon shells. So they're going to fire once they're able to. Um, but that should fix the issue of... Shouldn't this be... 
No, I guess that's fine. Oh, here comes that stone again already. And then... We're finally out of cannon capsules after this one. Or not quite. Okay, I was trying to answer a question earlier. Uh, what's the plan for today? So we've got uh, one, two, three, four mines to build. We've got... I've updated some of these mines. They're all on encoded network ID 2 now. And the reason for that is... That's... If I figure this out right, that should be all it takes to prevent taking copper from a mine and dumping it straight into uh, the item destruction system. So... It's, it's, a, it's a slight extension of what we already had with the encoded network IDs. We started with the um, storage system. We didn't want items being picked up here and dropped off here. So we put this one on encoded network ID 1 and this one on encoded network ID 2. The default negative one means it is uh, that a station is able to interact with any other station. It's on all networks. That's kind of important not to mind to just trash it. Yeah. So, so that was all it took to prevent LTN from scheduling pickups from here to drop off up here. Uh, from there, all we had to do to make sure we don't take from storage to trash items is give this one the same network ID as the drop off for storage, which is encoded network ID one. And then from there, come to realize all we have to do is give encoded network ID number two to our mines. So the mines will be able to have trains come and pick up and drop off to like normal stations that have no encoded network ID. Um, they'll also be able to go straight into... Uh, I guess they won't be able to go straight into storage, which is fine. We only actually want the storage to help deal with the problem of uh, sorting these resources out the um, variety resources that come out of the pulverizers at a set ratio. Some amount of storage is required, but it's not strictly necessary to have more than like a row of chests for that. Um, but yeah, it's never going to take from here encoded network ID 2 and put it into the trash encoded network ID 1. Um... Still got this train not moving. 3.9k. I can't remember. I thought I erected this one. I wonder if it's a consistent problem with this station. So we have our usual uh, precise loading system, but we shave off a couple of combinators and assume that we're always picking up a multiple of four. We know we're picking up a multiple of four because the provide stack threshold is 160, which is a full train. And there's four cargo wagons. Um, I wonder if this was a knock-on effect from something else going weird. Or if there's something that we need to fix here. If that train up there is stuck as well, which it is, there is probably something wrong with this circuit. So let's have another look. Um, it's a little trickier to figure out with, uh, with this all compacted, but I'm pretty familiar with this circuit. So we take the number of, the total number of items the train is asking for, uh, minus what the train actually has in it. Good time for a demonstration, I guess.
once it's almost full, we should see something happen. Um, okay, it, I was going to say, I, I clicked the wrong inserter, I was going to say it would help if we set the stack size. It is possible one of these doesn't have set stack size or something. Getting close, let's see what happens. That was perfect. How could that be? Let's make doubly sure all of these are set correctly. Red wire connects to every inserter. Green wire connects to one inserter per cargo wagon. Here we have divided by four. This is the remainder of 24. This is divided by 24, H and S. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with this, which makes me very confused as to how both here and here uh, we've got a train stuck for similar reasons. I wonder where you're going with this glass. Oh yeah, that makes sense. LDS. Wait, wow, I'm playing a completely different game from you. Uh, the Menacing Ace, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mark Keo, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, S O. M A R K K. There we go. How is your stream? And, uh, Dark Sky Full of Stars, thank you for the follow. And Menacing Eggs. Thanks for the shout, no worries. Okay, so, as far as I can see, this circuit is correct. And yet, oh, we're going to see it happen again. That's glass. Well, it's the same circuit loading it. So that shouldn't be a problem. Stream was great. Did math for three hours straight. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, unless that train gets stuck, I think I'll just come over and check out this one. Um, obviously, we've got some of these sticking out. And this one should be exactly the same. Yeah, I don't see what could be going wrong here. Maybe there was an inserter with the wrong setting that I just didn't spot. And this will be all it takes to fix it. Trying to create a robot load balancer. Robot. Designing complex circuits for the first time is rough. Yeah, definitely. Especially because in Factorio... That's a train. Uh, the circuits are built in a way that is, as far as I know anyway, um, you won't find any familiarity with that from another game or from real life or anything like that. You, you can't sort of learn Redstone and then come straight to Factorio and know what you're doing. A balanced loader is relatively simple but you have to understand what is implicitly happening with the wires and how this uh stack inserter is reading from the green wire and the red wire which is the chest at the same time for example bonk a hey, mucky good to see you again welcome welcome hope you're doing well and thanks for the follow mark Kao. Well, this um seems to be working. I just hope... I don't know. If, if one of these inserters didn't have the right setting, then that's probably in the blueprint somewhere. But since I came here, every train 
that arrives seems to load just fine. Duven, thank, uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the yay. All right, so I guess that's working. Um, deconstruction over here is happening. I'll need to go get some more rail, but first let's make a start. I want to extend this rail out and where are our construction bots? Wait, why are they all asleep? Is there no room in storage? There's definitely some room. Oh, suddenly they're awake. Okie dokie. Hi all. Vin Shady, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's the status on your playthrough? Still a novice or almost to the next step in orbit? Uh, we've got sort of an improved base in orbit laid out. Um, we have automatic supply of what we can send up here with uh, cannon chests, or at least I made room for 10 different resources. Hopefully we're not going to go over that or I'll have to add another one of these, which I guess isn't too bad. Um, we're also getting ready to set up automated sending of supplies that have to be sent by via cargo rocket, which comes with a bunch of headaches like what you do with the uh, cargo rocket parts and the capsules. Basically, we're putting them all in this cargo rocket silo and eventually sending them back home. Uh, we've expanded the wall on the left because we need that iron. 34 mil here, 14 mil here. We've got some mines to make today. Uh, what else? Yeah, we're kind of... Uh, we have just a few things to do on Nalvis today. And then we've got throughput well and truly sorted for a while. And we can really start to play in the sandbox. Currently using a constant combinator and a feed from a roboport to enable disable requester chests, but I'm finding that I'll probably have to wire the inserters as well. Everything gets caught in a loop. Interesting. Only core mining failed a bit. I wouldn't say failed, it's just a little bit slow. But we had to take all of this territory to get iron, so understandable to procrastinate it a little bit. Um, also, what was I doing? Let's get some rail down here. Um, I made a little blueprint, which is just city block minus the actual block part. So we are placing this correctly for later on. Uh, how do I... There we go. Unfortunately, I can't do a snap to grid relative for these blueprints because they use rail and the offset is 41 tiles from the leftmost part Oh, that's another coal mine. Did I really not... Well, we needed the iron more than the coal, but still. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I put a big miner here, it can get that. That should be fine. Anyway, I'm going to need to cut through here as well. That is copper. Uh... I think I actually meant to bring this down. Where's my blueprint? I think I actually meant to come down this way. Yeah, that's going to be a bit more convenient, I think. All right, undo. I mean, I'm sure we'll add those rails eventually, but this is fine for now. Uh, where am I? Made 
may as well turn on my RoboPorts. And then Blueprints. It is a nice, um, warm, fuzzy feeling knowing that I cannot run out of resources. The worst that can happen is they'll get a little slow. Alright, let's drop off some more rail. So do you have any rocket loading and launching set up? Yes. Uh, over here we've got... This was good for a while, but obviously we need to fully automate it for some things. Um, but we have a system here where you can just program in what you want to be loaded into the rocket in some constant combinators. And it'll set requests for the requester chests, uh, set filters on the stack inserters, so we're only putting in what we actually want. Uh, we can also remove unwanted items. Coffee will give you same feeling. Uh, wait, which feeling? Um, but yeah, we have... Did I set up science? Oh yeah, this, this constant combinator is turned off. Uh, so this rocket, uh, cargo rocket silo here is actually already automatically set up to send science upstairs. Um, over here we have a uh, cargo landing pad. I guess we don't quite have room for any given science at the moment. Uh, the lowest we have is 12k of green science. And if any of these drop below 1000, we're going to send a rocket up. Let me just check. What's the maximum that... What would be the minimum safe storage to send up a rocket of some kind of science. Um, we want to make sure this is empty afterwards. We've got uh, 528 stacks here, 28 times 200, 5600. So a thousand is actually not that far off. Um, still, we can change this to 5000 and I believe we still have too much Green science, yeah. So we're not uh, sending a rocket up here just yet. I suppose I could... Let's do this. Why not? While we're doing other things, we'll get a bit of this research done. Um, is that not... Oh, artillery needs rocket science packs. Okay. Let's resume it after that. So now we're going to be going through a few uh, logistic science packs. Once that drops below 5,000, we know we've got enough room for 500 stacks of green science. Um, and we'll send a rocket up here automatically full of green science. Give you warm and fuzzy. Oh, right. I have them set up with belts and loaders, so I stop the belts, but I always get some resources over the number that I want. Because the belts stop, but some resources drop in the rocket. Uh, you can get a precise load with belts or inserters, or both. Uh, if you... let's see. If we want to do a counting machine, right here... So I'm going to connect this to this, and we'll say... Uh, so this has got its own input connected to its own output, so signals go around in a circle. Uh, this is normally where you would put a signal if it's a clock, but it's not a clock. I'll just do R for reset. If R for reset equals zero, Output everything input count and then 
Uh, I can never remember. I think I figured it out up here. Okay, so read belt contents pulse is the second bit of belt. So it reads as soon as an item enters this tile. And this one's going to be enable disable. Uh, iron plate is less than 10. And then I'll drop some iron plate here. Definitely more than 10. Whoops. And then turn this off. There we go. 10 iron plate. Um, it's easier to do with inserters. You can uh, set... Well, if you know exactly what resource it's going to be, uh, you won't need a combinator either. You can just uh, set stack size. Uh, well, let me think about this. Uh, I've never had occasion to do this in such a small context. Uh, copper less than 100. And I guess the control signal is going to have to be, for the stack size, it's going to have to be done by combinator. Arithmetic. Uh, copper plate. No, 100 minus copper plate. I think. Output S for stack size. And then... Don't actually have a 100 copper plate on me. Let's say... Our stack size is 8, so let's say... Uh, 75. Definitely not a multiple of 8. So we'll put a chest here, and all of our copper plate. And before we, you know it, we'll have exactly 75 copper plate in the chest. Just a couple of ways you can get a precise count of resources. Uh, we need to go back for a lot of rail. As expected. Nice, thank you. No worries. Row 111. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's run back to, whoops, rip, RoboPort charge, and batteries. Uh, where are my batteries? Here we go. I guess we'll do a half and a half. Yeah, if you can, if you have a specific resource and you have some way of getting a number of how many more of them you need, you could also just uh, set the stack size to that resource. Especially if you're setting filters, that doubles up nicely. Um, I really for the hundredth time, wish you could set the stack inserters to, well, not just stack inserters, but if you're setting filters, I wish you could set uh, the stack size to be based on whatever filter the stack filter inserter is currently on. That would save quite a few combinators, where I have to do the exact same division but with S instead of each every time. Let's get all of the rail. And off we go. Don't think it will work because of the few seconds before the rocket lands. What do you mean by that? There's a few ways to not load anything into the rocket while it's... Uh, for example, not ready, if that's what you're referring to. What? 
Oh, my inventory's too full. Uh, Canon 3. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, let's continue. And I feel like I should have put another radar over here because I can't see what's going on half the time. But it looks like we've finished deconstructing all of that stuff. Maybe I could remove some of the extra stuff on the side for this version of this blueprint. That seems like a good idea, actually. It's just a little bit hard to see exactly what we're doing with this. In fact, it might be easier if we turn off RoboPorts, place it down here, and remove the ghosts directly. We'll leave... well, no we won't. Move this. this. When launching resources into space based on amount wanted, there's like one to two seconds of downtime before the rocket reaches the landing pad. Okay. Uh, if we're only aiming one rocket at this landing pad, um, we're never going to load another rocket before... Should I get rid of the roundabout as well for this? Eh, this is fine actually. Um, yeah, it takes a while to load the rocket, so it's not like we're gonna send another one while uh, this cargo landing pad is unloading. Uh, well, before the rocket even lands, that is. Um, the other thing is, if you are automating rockets uh, being sent to cargo landing pads, much to my dismay the other day, um, it turns out you can't send them automatically while there's anything at all left in the cargo landing pad. Um, which is why we need such copious storage if we're going to send multiple resources to one cargo landing pad. On the plus side, it does simplify things a bit. That's a little bit hard to see. That should do it. Have I missed anything? I don't think so. Okay, let's update this, shall we? Select new contents. And let's have a look. That seems pretty good. We got a few signals that we don't need over here. But the rest can stay, I think. Okay, cool. Let's remove all of this. And continue. Oh, and let's have a look at our green science up here. We're down to... 
12k still. Maybe we should make some more labs. I've let, say, a rocket silo that send iron to four different landing spots, but I need to figure out when two landing spot needed at the same time. Uh, you could check if they're empty, for example, and use uh, some decider combinators. Actually, I think it's just how I did mine. Okay. Let's get ahead of this. Not going to be too pedantic about removing the extra stuff this time. As long as it's functional for now and is in the correct place for when we want to put rail blocks here later. Maybe I should... Hmm. We're kind of low on battery charge already. How far away is researching the next version of... Uh, we just need... Oh, Energy Science Pack 2. That's going to be a while, I think. Yeah, never mind. I'm glad we're getting away from just making a longer and longer piece of one bit of rail that's just one sector. Actually, halfway done running out of rail already. I'm, I'm really glad LTN solves the problem of not sending resources straight from the mine to the item destruction area because that means we won't have to use one of these wires, which... We've only got a couple of them, and I was already planning on using the green wire uh, to read what is up in space. So we can have... Um, so that if we make more of... Th what? 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 What is going on here? Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, I was going to say if we make more of these modules with uh, these rail blocks with the cannons, uh, they can all get the signal of what's needed upstairs uh, from one place. Why do we? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what? Oh, no. Um. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Ha. So norm Okay, it's not like we're doing something extra weird here. Normally it does create a physical item called Delivery Cannon Capsule Vulcanite Block, for example. It'll stay there until you launch it. Um, but, oh no, I don't think the inserter can put these items in the output part. Um, let's go have a look, shall we? That might actually be a really big problem for if we want to use crafting combinators to set the recipes for the cannons. Worst case scenario... Oh. 
Oh, there is one minor thing wrong with this. Um, we're not connecting the circuit wire without those diagonals, but I'm not worried about that right now. Okay. Let's head over there. And turn off all of those crafting combinators, I guess. Where are we going? Okay, so first things first. Don't output anything. Um, let's just turn this to face the wrong way so it's not setting the recipe. Delivery cannon capsule vulcanite block. Yeah. I think this is what we're going to have to do manually to get rid of all of these delivery cannon capsules. How much storage do we have here? Not much. Well, it's not too bad, but... Oh, this is not good. So we've got, like... Oh, they stack. Oh, no, wait. Those are only the... Okay, so delivery cannon capsules stack, but the rest of them don't. We've got, like, 17, 21, 25, 31 capsules here that, as far as I'm aware, we cannot get rid of automatically because inserters will not put these delivery cannon capsule vulcanite blocks into... into the delivery cannon. Okay. I think it might just be a bad idea to... Um, to use crafting combinators for this. Although it does lead me to the question of how we haven't had a problem with this before. Um, let's see. We've been setting this one to only launch if there's less than a hundred of whatever resource. So if it started making another delivery cannon capsule, it would have reset the recipe before... before we ended up with a spare delivery cannon capsule iron plate, which would have got thrown back into this chest. Oh, it has been happening, just not very much. Interesting. How about a sushi belt? Divide recipe for all the cannons and have the inserters pick what they need from the belt. Maybe. Well, we do have a sushi belt here, actually. Um... We have a sushi belt and then chests, but one reason we haven't had a problem with that down here is we've been deliberately only making, uh, we've been basically putting these on a timer and only making one of these at a time. Huh. I think, honestly, no matter how much I look at it and how much time I spend on it, it's quite likely the best solution for this is just going to be to have uh, different recipes for different delivery cannons. Which is a little sad, but what can you do? A hey, evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, this is doubly unfortunate. I will have to manually load, like, hundreds of delivery cannon capsules to get rid of them. Um, I 
You can't connect this to circuit wire to control... ...to turn this switch on and off. The way we were controlling it... Um, ...on the other circuit was to only drop in a delivery cannon capsule when we're ready to fire. And it takes five seconds to actually uh, make that recipe and fire it immediately. Agree? Yeah. Put the extra capsules into a chest and shoot if it's just a one-time thing. Uh, as much as we do have infinite resources, we don't have infinite resources at infinite speed. That is still a little bit painful. Uh, Tura, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, um, how about we just, uh, get rid of the crafting combinators for now, as much as it makes me sad. And I think we need to, why is this one not firing? It has power, it has resources, it has recipe. So why is it not making... That's a little odd. But whatever the case, I'm going to remove the recipes from here for now. And then, no more recipes. And a bunch of stuff dropped on the ground, perfect. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think we're basically going to have to tear this whole thing up to make a simpler design. Which is a little sad. Maybe if I had done the same design but ensured that we only fire when all of them are ready to fire at the same time, this wouldn't have happened. Although, looking at uh, looking at this chest here, we do see a few specific delivery cannon capsules, so I, I'm not convinced of that. That would be a very expensive firework. <laughs> yeah. I don't suppose... It's, it's not like we can deconstruct them, right? Oh well, let's get back to finishing our rail build for now. And get some of this extra stuff out of our inventory. Then you would overload the chests in space. We can avoid that with circuits. It's pretty easy, actually. Oh, um, no, we did size the... Um, there's 80 delivery cannon capsules there, so that is 80 stacks, uh, which is exactly two of these delivery cannon chests. Each of them have 40 storage. Uh, half of the cannons are aimed at this one, and half of the cannons are aimed at this one. So if we only fire when these are empty, and we fire every delivery cannon at once, um, it's not going to overload it. Okay. Um, get these out of my inventory for now, please. Yeah. I forgot to... I thought I set a timer. 
I did not. I didn't press play on it. Um, I forgot to check the accuracy of... Oh, here's our opportunity. Nope, we missed it, just barely. But if we check the charge over here, 28. Oh, it is actually at its lowest value right now. Still. Well, that's good. Yeah, I'm 99% sure now that this circuit worked correctly. It tells us the lowest value that the accumulator has hit. Okay. Uh, rail, we need a lot more. I could set a larger request, but it's going to take a million bot jobs to do one click. And back to it. Oh, we went further than I realized as well. Why have I only got one bot doing anything? There they are. Sneaky. And over here as well. Don't want them jumping out again at the first possible opportunity. No save, why not? Let's get rid of this stuff. And we're going to need to remove some stuff here. Including the artillery. I wonder if... Yep. Picker dollies lets you move artillery around. <laughs> Lovely. Um, if this roboport is removed, we're going to split the networks. Just do that for the moment. Oh, there's other bots coming to take these trees, I think. Let's just do that. Uh, can I move this? Yes, good. And don't need any of this here. Why are my bots struggling? Okay. I should probably be running this deconstruction planner over all of this by now. That's going to keep them busy for a while. Oops. Something in the way over here. There it is. Okay. And this one. And then over here. As long as the trains can get through and we've got everything lined up correctly, 
for the future. The rest is fine. Um, there's actually rail in this bot network, so maybe I'll leave them to try and finish that. And I've left some robots hovering indefinitely. There's an easy fix to this. As soon as these bots come back... I know I'm carrying a few extra. So... Roboport's gone. Rip battery. And then... All of those robots have gone to the nearest robo network. Why are these not... Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Blueprint. Actually, give me more power, please. And I don't need empty deconstruction planners in my inventory. Getting close to the uh, iron mine now. I've run out of signals. And at least one more. Alright, that'll do it. I think I've got some big miners on me. Fantastic. Definitely going to set these ones up for speed and productivity. Let's see. Uh, speed and productivity. Okay, good. Which way should I do the rail here? Let's just build the mine first. I think we'll have it facing north. Uh, we don't need pipe in this instance. Just speed and productivity. Okay, cool. Start about here. Snap to grid relative is very useful. And I think rather than make a whole extra row, I'll just move a couple of these miners down a little bit. They've already got some overlap up here. Literally, you just have to move that to, uh, that one down one tile. And that'll be enough. Don't 
really need this one, I guess. I'll leave that one, I guess. I have actually placed all of the big miners already. How many is this going to take? 115. I think my request is 50. Yeah, so we're going to have to go back for more than a stack. We're also going to need... Well, we're not going to need all of these. Let's remove a few. Uh, over here, maybe. Yep. Don't need this one. I think that puts us down to 100. No, that's 109. Whoops. I somehow thought it was 105 rather than... Is that going to get everything if I remove that one? Not quite. Should have put this here. What about this one? Yeah, these ones are totally unnecessary. Just five to go. I could get rid of a few in the middle, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, that one's actually required. Alright, we need to go back for... Uh, 55 big miners. Um, we'll need a total of... 5 times that. What's our request for productivity? 200. So we'll need uh, 325 more productivity modules and 30 times 8, 240, about another 200 speed modules. Oh, well, that'll be fine. Except I didn't bring... Let's leave these speed modules that we brought here for now. I need to bring a lot more... Uh, beacons than I normally carry. Let's change that to 20. What's the R for? And then... I guess that's it. I've got a bunch of rail on me. I might as well place some. Nah, let's just get back. And let's do it faster than this. And I think I'll take a taxi next time. Iron plate train is stuck here again, but I think... Okay, I really don't know, don't understand why this is happening, considering we checked the circuit, we watched these two stations successfully load trains like four or five times, um, it might have something to do with the fact that it's almost empty, but that shouldn't... If that's the case, it shouldn't have made a request. I think maybe there was just enough iron plate and some of the inserters stopped inserting um, because it wasn't perfectly evenly distributed, even though we do have a balanced loader there. Uh, okay, so we need to take a few extra big mines, like five. 
I can't remember if I've got a super specific request for big miners. I do. And then, well, I may as well keep an extra stack on me after that. Uh, productivities and speed should be enough. Beacons, an additional 20 should be enough. And all of my bots are lost. Uh, why don't we let them go somewhere else? Off you go. And I don't need all of this rail on me for now. Let's go. Hold on. Let's fix this train. So, let's see. Red, green wire goes to here. Iron plate times one. So we're not doing a condition here. We're just saying if there's 1600 iron plate, then we can load the iron plate. Except that's not actually the problem here. This chest is empty, this chest is empty, but that's not... I don't know if that should have caused a problem or not. I guess controlling the stack size... Yeah, it would have thrown off the stack size for the other ones. I think that's the issue. So we would have to... If I set the provide stack threshold a little bit higher, even though the train is only... Um, 160 stacks. Would that prevent this from happening? Because there'll be some extra iron and we're not going to get this issue occurring again? Maybe. If this one doesn't have this problem again and this one does, that's probably it. What's swarm safety? A Sigma B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, logistic bots crash in uh, space exploration, or one of the mods included in it anyway. Um, the more bots you have, the more likely they are to crash, I think. Or that might just be... I forget exactly how it works, but basically this doesn't prevent them from crashing, but it does prevent them up to a certain number from causing damage when they do crash. You can have more logistic bots crashing without destroying the building. Yep. And right now we're researching that just because I wanted to get... Oh, that's way too slow. Did I make some more labs up here? No, I don't think I did. There were a lot of prerequisites to make a lab like that. I couldn't really do it on the spot. Did my bots just jump out again? Yep. Let's go get them. Okay. Back to our mine. And I'll take that. Now my bots are not doing anything. I don't understand. I've definitely got the miners, I've got the bots, I've got RoboPort. Oh. Oh, they jumped out to place signals. Sneaky. Okay, I guess we'll just sit here for a minute. And... It's really going to take a while to get down to 5,000 green signs. 
I don't know if we're going to see a demonstration of the auto launch rocket uh, for science anytime soon. Okay, uh, what else are we doing? Anything that we can do while we're just looking around? Um, I could deconstruct some of this stuff. Sure. And we'll get that connected up here. We'll obviously have to add some signals. Or rather, it's probably better to remove this and connect it somewhere here. You can do safari research. Safari research? What's that? Are we almost done building this? I think I ran out of productivity modules. I forgot to set the requests to get enough of them. Uh, whoops. Okay, let's, um, let's make absolutely sure this time. I forgot to get a taxi as well. Let's bring a small train over here. It can't get here yet. The bots still haven't placed those rails. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, how about you come over to here, as close as you can. Apparently you can't get over here either. Why not? Because this one little bit of rail is missing. <laughs> okay, alright, fine. Hate autocorrect, swarm safety. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, we get more... Well, there's two reasons I'm doing it in space. We get more productivity bonus uh, from that big lab. But also, I was actually trying to get rid of green science. Uh, so that we could get one of these science packs down to 5,000. So that we could see the um, auto-launch rocket system in action. I also need to bring back a lot more... Well, I think we've got almost all we need now, but I ran out of belt. Let's make our train station while we're here. And I do have a blueprint for this, but I think it's a little bit out of date compared to one or two things I've learned. Let's find out. Uh, provide threshold should be a stack threshold, 160, max trains 1, yes, minimum train length 6, and I want to use encoded network ID 2, so that we're not dropping it off into the trash. That should be about it. I may have put this a little bit too close if we're going to do a balancer. Definitely a bit close, unless we're going to... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. How many have we got? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's slightly annoying. Um... We'll just cheat a little bit with that. Okay, yeah, I think we have to move this up a little bit. Let's remove this for now. Should have started with the belts. And 
over here. Side as well. Any reason you don't use LTN combination mod? Combination mod? Then again, I use it because I'm lazy, adding limits manually. Um, yeah, I just haven't tried any... Uh, I actually meant to try LTN manager, um, if for nothing else, because you can see uh, what's going on like globally with LTN, like how, how many requests there are for green circuits, or if that is... If that supply is totally saturated, for example. Uh, let's do a merge right about here. And then like so. What? Oh, there we go. And then our train station will go right about here. This will be fine, actually. Actually, we could have done it like... Whatever. Either way. Hold on. Let's do a corner. And that should be fine. All right, first one's gonna look a little bit weird, but that's okay. Oh, that's right. The whole reason I wanted to do it like that. Don't like, uh having corners approaching inserters if I can help it. There we go. Don't forget to add the encoded network ID too, most important. This should use stack size. Train size is six. And one train at a time. Although, this is probably one case where it's fine to have more than one train. Let's go back and get stuff one more time. Can you hit F4 and then the time something? I want to see what uses the most time to process. Uh, it'll be circuits, I think. Circuit network is... It? Oh no, it's... Uh, entity update is over six. Circuit network is approaching three. But yeah, I use circuits a lot more than most people. All right, let's head back and make sure we finish the rail this time. Be sure to turn off the robo port when we go in here. Otherwise the bots will never stop. And I'll use a taxi on the way back, if only to make sure that there's a path going both ways. Why can't I target this? All right, that should do it. And don't forget the other bit of rail all the way over this way. 
up here. And probably should have turned on more jetpacks. There we go. Alright, so now let's check this thing can be a taxi all the way out here. Nope. Nope. Yes. I think there's... What is missing over here? Is it a signal? Yeah, because this signal doesn't exist yet, it thinks it can't go this way. Okay. Well, we'll fix that on the way back as well. Bots, please come back. And back we go. Can't remember what I was doing. Almost forgot the uh, productivity modules. Purple Haired Geek. Perfect train station name. We're keeping it. How is our count of green science? It is still 12,000. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm up to science 3 with all four space sciences. I'm dropping down to 50 FPS UPS, but I have bases on six different planets and one big orbital. Um, I do get better performance when I'm not streaming, to be clear. Uh, something that I want to try someday, TM, is setting up a dedicated machine for the stream side of things. Apparently, you don't need a very powerful machine to do that, and it really takes the load off of uh, the machine that you're playing on. I do have a old uh, machine. Well, actually, it's kind of old at this point, but it's not bad or anything. Let's make sure I turn my RoboPot off. Hey, fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you ever start uploading to YouTube? Yep, I finally got as far back as I could go. I uploaded everything today. Uh, so I think it's uh, part 46 of space exploration. And onward. Can you spam a link so I can sub? No worries. Uh, I think you should... Oh, here it is. You should be able to see it on the Twitch as well. Okay, we have arrived. Signal. And, yep, we can go over here now. Fantastic. I see 46 onwards, yes. Uh, unfortunately, Twitch does delete VODs after, like, I don't know, is it a week or two? Um, so I can't go further back than that. Roboport on. Fourteen days, okay. Thanks, Thunion. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, did I place everything here? Let's check. Not even close. I'm tempted to change this design to use substations, just because it'd be nice to never carry medium poles at this point. Nah, there's always something that medium poles are sort of required for. Okay, are we good? Seems like it. Connect to power. 
uh, realize that power is not connected over here. I think we're connected to the main network down here. Let's do that. And have all of our bots jump out again. Okay. And... Bit of a spike in minor activity, to say the least. But we've still got... Wait. Why do we have so much power spare? That's crazy. Must have finished producing a bunch of things. Make sure we power this. Um, what? Oh, I forgot. You have to make sure you connect all of these horizontally. There we go. So, how's our power looking now? Even bigger jump in mining drills. That is a huge spike, wow. Okay, that is iron, and this is going back to small depot, question mark. All right, where are we able to get to? Surprise, surprise, it's this place. All right, turn off RoboPort. Yeah, something like that. All good. At least something to refer back to when I spend some time on Christmas to smash my head back into SpaceX. You'll love pylons for power poles. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to some of the late game stuff. Delivery cannons are turned off. Delivery cannons are turned off. Um, signal. There we go. And I guess we're going back home. There should be... Oh, I should have put a radar here. Um, but there should be a train already being sent over this way, probably. And there is not. We've got 8.5k, so that is a full train load. Um, oh, there it goes. Fantastic. And back to base. Power surplus. Uh, I don't know that just delivery cannons account for that much. Whatever the case, it's good that we've got so much to spare. Um... Yeah, so what's next? We got our iron mine. We need a couple of coal mines. Uh, there's one here, one here, and one over here. I think I'll start with the one that's closest to the bit of rail that we were just adding over this way. Uh, I don't necessarily need... Well, actually... I was going to say I don't necessarily need 500 productivity modules, but considering we're building mines at the moment, it's actually pretty reasonable. It actually adds up to be fewer productivity modules compared to regular miners using the big miners because you need fewer of them for each area. Oh, and I wanted to make some more solar as well, but not this kind of solar. Well, 
Let's go. I should have picked up some more rail. Let's do it. I'm definitely going to run out of signals as well, but that's whatever. Pick up a few more chain signals. See how far that goes. I don't see a train stuck here. That might be a good sign. I need 4.1 gigawatts for Umbrella on home planets when the energy beam hits me. Yep. It is a big one. Let's go for rail block right about here. Not quite. Let's do one here. And I have a little design I want to throw out for the moment. Wait, where did I put that blueprint? Oh, I think it's in here. Yeah, there it is. Robots go. How many solar panels is this? 200. Well, we've definitely got that. I need some power. Did we already drop all of our accumulators? That's not a whole lot. I think we need better accumulators to match up with the flat solar panels. Take a minute. Meanwhile, I can design our mine. Uh, let's see, fast productivity. Um, I guess if the rail comes out this way, we'll have it go to the east. It's kind of hard to see a little bit where the coal goes. And I'm, if necessary, I might just move one of these back a little bit. That should be fine. That's some time away for better accumulators? Yeah, probably. Quite far. Oh no. Rip. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised how easy it was to get a pretty good ratio. Um, I just compared it to the... Well, by easy I mean how easy it was to fit this. Um, in order to do the math, I compared uh, the ideal ratio for regular solar panels and looked at the amount of kilowatts. Uh, the, this design is pretty close to a perfect ratio. Um, I just basically just looked at the kilowatts to accumulate a ratio for that. And I've run out of rail real quick. I forgot that this is actually thousands of rail that we need. I left that one bot behind, didn't I? Poor little guy. Uh, 
Oh, I also missed a little bit of coal up here. How many lanes is this? One, two, three, four. That's perfect. Let's do a backward one up here. And we'll have that merge into this one. Okay. Did we run out of something? 67 miners. Rip. Okay. I guess we need to... It looks like we didn't place anywhere near 50 miners, though. We are requesting 50, right? Yeah, 50. So how did this happen? Oh well, I think we've placed all of the uh, beacons and speed modules. We're missing productivities. We're missing big miners. I hope we haven't run out of productivities back here. 72. A little bit. Um... I dare say we need more than 72 productivity modules here. Maybe we'll focus on building something else until that's ready. Uh, in the meantime, let's figure out our uh, pickup station. Probably should have put that further back made the same mistake again. We need two, three. Actually, I'm not sure that's going to be two, three. It's uh, one, two, three, the fourth tile that that lines up with. So here, I think. That's pretty good. Actually, it might be a bit cleaner to do it like that in this instance. There we go. T2 flat solar is really easy, though. That sounds good. Why not use the AAI containers mod that was recommended with SE mod pack? Uh, because I started without it and it kind of adds a few challenges. But probably next time, next playthrough, I'll probably be using the giant containers. Definitely makes certain things a lot easier. Let's finish our checkerboard. And we'll head back for rail, signals, and probably not enough productivity modules. I do wish there was a way to highlight this and see exactly how many ghosts. We could probably cover all of this with one miner. Actually. Let's, let's change that. All right, let's head back. Yeah, 
Yeah, we could definitely do this with one miner. All right, cool. I don't see a good way to squeeze it in there, so... Just do it like this. And do I even care about giving this one speed modules? 45k... Nah, I think we're good. Uh, what we do need, though, is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm, twelve at most. Eleven. Eighty two productivities. Okay, we're not going to be ready for that for a minute. And that's plus, uh, like fifty five. We've currently got 118. It's not going to take that long, actually. So we'll give this a few minutes before we go get everything else we need to finish this mine and link it up. Azura, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Back to base to resupply. Send some bots on a random trip, turn off RoboPort, um, okay, good. If I could catch this train, we could have an easy ride. I could easily kill myself though trying to do that, because I actually have to deactivate the jetpack get right next to it, and then hit enter. Okay. Pots go burn. So once we've got iron and coal sorted out, um, we should have no more issues with resources for quite a while. At least the basic resources. I think... I vaguely remember... I, I definitely wanted to decommission and change some of these old Omni smelters, but I don't think I got around to setting it up so they're not asking for iron. Um... I don't think they have a prioritization system, so the trains, unless LTN does it automatically, uh, the trains may be just going to the nearest station. Which is not the worst. Well, I guess we would end up filling up on iron ore over here before the other smelters kick in, which would be bad. I should really uh, run the experiment to find out if... Uh, if LTN has some implicit priorities, like if you have two iron ore drop-off stations at the same priority level, does it keep going to the nearest one, or will it balance them out? All right, need a lot more rail, probably a lot more signals. That's maybe enough. Grab some more signals before the bots steal our stuff. And off we go. All right, so we can finish the rail part of this at least. Not to mention throw down a few more accumulators.
I quite like the way that looks on the map. Uh, I was going to say I should also build these uh, pump jacks, but I actually did do that a while ago and they got eaten by biters. But we're actually completely full on crude oil for the foreseeable future. So I don't think we have to worry too much about that, question mark? Why is there no crude oil here? We probably need more fluid trains. These two are waiting to go somewhere. They're both going to some kind of fluid pickup. What's going on with the traffic, though? Oh, I think I see the problem. How did you end up with light oil and you're trying to pick up crude? Please go back to the depot, but also I need to signal this properly. Um, because they, the other trains thought they couldn't go past here. Uh, let's just drop ourselves somewhere where the bots are going to do something. Figure out the signaling. Uh, chain signals out. Regular signals in. We only leave in one direction this way. I think we can also go this way, yes. And then... I think that's it. Yeah, that'll do. We'll need to connect these like so. And I guess we may as well drop off the prods that we've got. Actually, they might be enough. I completely forgot. Yeah, I think... I think this is actually finished. Fantastic. We've got three left over. Alright, cool. That's one less thing to remember. Let's connect this over here. And we'll need a regular signal here. Why have we got stone? I think there was some random stone from destroying a rock. But it's possible... This one's only going to get 15 coal. You can... You can just go home. Um, it's possible one of these miners can pick up stone. Let's check. Doesn't look like it. No, I think we're good. Let's just get rid of this little, literally two stone. Yeah, it must have been from destroying a rock. A hey, shack cut. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I feel like we could speed this up a little bit. How fast are we actually making coal here? Uh, 10,000 per minute, 182 per second. We're almost bottleneck, we're actually bottlenecking on the belts. That is surprising. Yes, TKS. TKS, is that thanks? Um... Uh, I wonder if I should give this some um, stack inserters. Yeah, that's going to be a bit better. 
we're already at 7.7k. 8,000. That did not take long. Alright, so I think our coal issues are going to be resolved for a little while. Uh, this one is... Oh, I see. Can I get all of this coal in one miner? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Give it another big pole. And... I'll just bring it over here. Actually, it's... I was going to say it's never going to get on the belt, but apparently there are some tiny gaps. Occasionally. It's just enough. Fantastic. All right, let's go fix this signaling up here. We also need to make some more uh, fluid wagons. We've already got room for like six more, I think. Omni smelters looking good. Is this one stuck again? There's definitely enough. Why does this keep happening? Oh, wait. There might not have been enough at the time of scheduling. So let's check. Was it this one? Yeah. Okay. So far, it is looking like changing the request stack threshold, uh, provide stack threshold, is making the difference. Uh... If I change this to 200, um, not that one, if I change this to 200 and we stop seeing trains getting stuck at this station, then that was probably it. Okay, a bit of eye. There we go. So because of the precise loading circuit um, and specific inserters trying to put things into the train, if you have just enough iron plate for a train when the schedule happens, uh, when the train actually arrives there, uh, you may run into some problems. We need some locomotives and fluid wagons. Uh, how many do we need? If we pick up all of this, we could do 20 trains. Well, that's a lie. There's only five locomotives. Uh, why don't we limit that to an even number? We are doing that. Locomotive is 10. So there must be five somewhere else. Um, on the way, 15. That's weird. How many locomotives have we got in this logistic network? On the way, 30. I wonder how that happened. Whatever the case. Um... It's going to be more than enough. Let's make some fluid wagons. I guess we'll place the first few locomotives to start with. This should be overkill. I should th certainly hope so. Give them all the same schedule that is just come to depot and then five seconds of inactivity. 
And then once they're all fueled up, that should not be a problem. We're only using a half belt for fuel. Well, it's not like we're producing it that quickly. All the more reason to use more of the space on the belt. We can actually just do it like this. And then that should solve the fluid throughput issues. So we've got our iron, we've got our coal, we've got more fluid trains. Uh, we've hopefully got iron plate trains not getting stuck over here anymore. Looking... I was going to say looking good, but now we've got these stack filter inserters sticking out. I don't understand uh, why. Let's actually keep the jetpacks for now. So we, we are outputting the amount that we still have to put into the train from here. We divide by 24 the number of inserters. We put through the iron plate signal for the filters. We put through S for stack size. We've got all of these set to set filters and set stack size S. Red wire connects all of these inserters. We get the remainder of divided by 24 and then divide that by four, each divided by four, one, two, three, four. This did work correctly just now. I wonder if, uh-oh, I was going to say I wonder if the inserters sticking out from here were just a domino effect. Uh, probably the case. So it'll probably do something wrong here. And if we correct it, uh, it shouldn't happen again. Okay, we're actually getting... That's a little bit weird. How much resources can be taken by one swing of the inserters? The maximum stack size for them at the moment is 8. Maximum with full research is 12. Okay, um, wait, why are this, oh, I think I forgot to set requests here to include blue inserters. We're not using burner inserters anymore, so let's change that one. Uh, 50 at a time should be fine. How much resources can be taken? Make them to five? Uh, we're dynamically changing the stack size. Oh, hello. That seems decent, but we could probably do better. I didn't think the biters would actually approach from this angle. Uh, maybe we could just add a flamethrower turret over here. That should be more than enough by itself. We could also add some always-on laser turrets. Okay. So currently we've got a negative signal of 50 uh, blue inserters. That should have LTN sending a small train over here in the not-too-distant future. Are we not putting blue inserters in this thing? We are not. What are you waiting for? Repair packs, really? But you've got repair pack. What? Oh, you're full. That's not good. Uh, how did it end up being full?
Let's see. Okay, so you're carrying an awful lot of items. 152 logistic bots does not seem like a good use of stack sizes. Um, did LTN... Surely it didn't request more than it can carry. 156. 158. 112. So we need 12 more repair packs in here. Before I forget, let's uh, let's add some blue inserters to this. It's getting to the point where I feel like just splitting the variety providers into multiple stations. Um, 193 blue, 50 burner inserters, 50, uh, 92 storage tanks, 204 and 96 big electric poles and substations, 152 logistic bots, 160 construction bots, 44 robot bots, why is there one laser turret in here? Okay. Uh, I think I'm sold on the idea of having... Okay, apparently I set this up earlier, but I did it wrong. I want to set up an inserter to remove items from the train that are not supposed to be there. Um... How do I figure that out right now? So we've got the contents of the train subtracted from what we're asking for. Okay. That's a problem. I don't know why, but the logistic train stop output... I think this train arrived here with one laser turret inside it. And the logistic train stop output outputs that one laser turret, which is not very helpful when you're trying to figure out what what I actually want from this combinator is just what the train is asking for. If it didn't have that signal of one um, laser turret, then this thing would just be outputting negative one laser turret down to here we would set the filter and remove the laser turret and the train would leave. So the train wasn't empty when it arrived at the pickup station. Yeah, it really should have been. We've got, um, on top of every other safety measure, we've got, uh, we've got chests for removing excess items from trains when they go to the depot and they go straight from the depot to here I don't know how it could have got a laser turret placed inside it on the way where are you trying to go to over here how do you have no pot oh oh that's uh that's my bad whoops um the bots will replace that rail, but they might take a while to do it. Hmm. Uh, I could go over there myself. I could ride the train there. Let's do it. We'll add a temporary stop right about uh, here. Wait, are they doing it now? Nope. Okay. Temporary stop. Goes here. And we'll just have to place that rail ourselves. Alternatively, one of the ins inserters still held a laser turret. Uh, that would be happening a lot more frequently if we hadn't set this up correctly. We've got these small trains coming here for pickup very often. 
um, yeah, we did set up a precise loading system here, and it's not doing the it's not doing the thing either where we're counting on it being a multiple of four or anything like that, because there's only one cargo wagon. We're doing divided by six here, and then remainder six here, just for this um, stack filter inserter. Okay, time to fix the track. And away we go. And once we get blue inserters down here, there's actually less than a stack of them remaining to be placed. So that's pretty cool. Um, we will need a few more of them once I run the blueprint that includes... Actually, I think I'll stay in the train. Uh, once I run the blueprint over here that includes artillery. We don't have to run it all the way down, I guess. In fact, I guess we only need a few artillery cannons, but this is fine. Almost back to base. I probably should set up a train to carry extra building materials. That was close. Uh, 30 hit points left on the big electric pole. Okay, what's next? We've got our iron, we've got our coal, we've got... We've fixed these, I think. Although, the same problem could happen over here. Actually, I think we'll leave the request stack thresholds on copper plate and stone brick at 160, and... I don't think it's going to happen because we've got an abundance of these resources, but if we see trains getting stuck in these locations, um, we know that that's probably what fixed this. We've got artillery cannons. Uh, do we actually have them in the network here? Nope, I haven't requested them yet. Okay. Apparently we're not... Oh, that's right. Shells are being delivered on this one. Okay. Artillery cannon. Uh, let's say... You know what? I think it's fine to just deliver, like, one at a time. Otherwise, we're going to have way more than we need. Oh, apparently there were some artillery cannons over here. I think I may have left a few earlier on. And we're about to see how effective this wall is. Gates go shut. Doesn't seem like the biters are... But it seems like by the time the gate's shut, the biters are dead or dying, so they don't really try to path somewhere else. Also, quite likely that the other gates nearby get shut as well. Uh, we did lose... We lost a substation in the middle of all these laser turrets. That's not great. To say the least. But it did hold up against a pretty thick attack. I'm definitely going to remove the substate, uh, the uh, accumulators from the front. 
I'll have to go through and change all of these decider combinators if I'm going to do that. Which is going to be a little bit of a pain. Um, I could update the blueprint and run the blueprint all over this, but then we're going to be throwing cliff explosives at cliffs that we don't want to destroy and overriding or messing around with other minor changes. So I guess I'll update the wall blueprint and then make a copy of it that removes everything except for the um, combinators. Here comes another wave. Oh, they get through. Just a little bit. Why is that one dying? Was it... Oh, it got burned. Oh, no. Um... I don't know if that's a very good... place for a gate, actually. Might have to rethink that part. Maybe I could have the gates respond to the accumulator charge directly and drop a bit sooner than when these laser turrets get switched on. Yeah, we're going to lose accumulators really often uh, with this exact build. But the wall is doing its job. I don't have to touch it or think about it. And it's going to clear the biters all the way out to here. Fantastic. Alright, so with everything pretty much sorted out on the ground... Uh, it is probably time to play in space. I'm not seeing iron reaching the old Omni Smelters just yet. Actually, they should have a higher priority. Yeah, these have got the dynamic prioritization system. They're outputting priority 7 into the logistic network, but I don't think I have a priority system for... Oh, yes, I do. These are just priority 10. Okay, fair enough. That explains that. Well, it'll sort itself out eventually. I don't really have to do anything else. And we've already got a mostly full iron plate bus up here. Um, LTN manager would be really good right about now. I suppose I could look at iron plate drop-offs for steel. Those are all looking full, actually, so that's pretty promising. Okay, I think we're doing fine on resources. Let's hop up into space and play around with um, some new production. Oh, how is our space science doing right now? Or the green science, rather. It's all the way down to 11,000. Okay, the first thing I want to do is make some more space science labs. What do I need for that? Space? space. Uh, we need... Let's see. First of all, we need a lot of electric labs. So let's start by automating that, I guess. I think... I'm pretty sure I haven't automated them. Electric lab. Whoops. 
that's fine, I guess. Uh, let's ask for a hundred. There's nothing in storage, as expected. So we'll throw in a bit of automation for that right about here. First we need Burner Lab and Electric Lab. Uh, we'll do a request to chest that they both share. And then... Store them here. How many resources do they have in common? Small electric motor, electronic circuit, glass, nothing. Okay, cool. I don't... Ah, uh, that's fine. So what do we need? Sing single cylinder, stone brick, copper. Single cylinder engine, stone brick, and copper. And I guess we may as well go overkill with the labs, right? We do have infinite space to work with, after all, and power up here is very, very cheap. Um, so let's make, like, 19 more of these, why not? That would be, uh, 144 productivity modules, fewer than I carry by default. Uh, 200 max, please. And what are we limiting this to? I feel like we should just keep going with productivity modules at this point. Sometimes we're going to want a lot of them. Alright, we've already got two of these. Apparently we're not requesting enough green circuits. Uh, actually, we can put... If I swap these around... We can... grab green circuits and copper right here. Actually. That's very convenient. Probably should have turned on my rover port. Uh, we need a constant combinator. We'll do a red wire, because that's more visible this time. Oh, that's not what we're doing. Nope. And... Let's say 100 and 200. Set filters... Uh, blacklist? Wait, we've got six different items in here, that's not going to work. We could do an infinite blacklist, and then I have to jam two long combinators in here somehow. Um, but I wanna... Oh, I could just... Hmm. If I have whitelist and... Wait, I could probably do this with one combinator. Set filters. So we want the opposite of this, right? H times negative one. Output H. And why is copper flickering?
Oh, are we reading? You yeah, know, we're reading contents. Oh, right, we don't want to do that. Yeah, I think that's working. So I'll take the green circuits out. Take the copper out. That is too fast to see what's happening. Yeah, that's working. Okay, cool. Are you going to make a space bus? Uh, what do you mean by space bus? I've got a bunch of stuff that we're fully automating, sending into space with cargo rockets, if that's what you mean. Alright, cool. So how many... Oh, minor detail. Let's speed this up a little bit. And a bit more. Okay. How many of these do we need? Uh, 190 would be good. Bus belt in space. Oh, right. Uh, we've got a sushi bus in space for the moment. Um... It's going to carry us to getting some stuff done, and after that, when we know the production chains better, we can design... Oh, the bot's finished this. Uh, once we know that a bit better, like the actual production lines, we can design a lot more deliberately. I kind of like leaving the asteroid like this. Okay, 190 electric labs, please. Please hurry. We get a hundred of these. Maybe I can speed things up a bit myself. It's actually bottlenecking on the stack inserter, placing the single cylinder engines in. Not to mention the other resources. Alright. Copper. Let's turn off personal logistics for a sec. Uh, small electric motor. Wait, is that what it's called? No, single cylinder. And then stone brick. Still on one red belt over there for stone brick. That feels almost nostalgic. There we go. Oh my lord. Uh, that was kind of fast. Now we need glass. which is arriving. What are we up to? 63. Like halfway there. Uh, glass? And small electric motors are over here. I haven't done this in a while. Jumping on the bus for all the resources. Let's go. And you need more single cylinders. There we go. Hundred and ten. You 
really, really eat up those single cylinder engines. Okay. Shouldn't be too much longer, and we'll get to... Well, actually, how long does it take to... I can't handcraft these, can I? Space manufacturing, 30 seconds each. That's kind of a lot. We need more LDS. I think we can send that up via the cannon. Uh... Wait, we can send LDS by cannon, right? Whoops. Yeah, we can. Okay. So, I think... Now that I think it's probably not possible or very difficult to do a good design using crafting combinators with the delivery cannons. Um, this whole thing is kind of... Uh, like, needs to be removed, if anything. It's really unfortunate. For now, I might just start building somewhere else. Or... Uh, but we're getting the signal. We've already got the signal transmitter set up for over there. And I do like the idea of one place that the, the trains bring this stuff to. To use the delivery cannons. If I had delivery cannons in mind when I built the uh, rail blocks that make LDS and heat shielding, for example, I might have left a bit of room down the bottom for a cannon. But then we would have to have... We would either have to connect a dish to, like, the green wire that goes everywhere, or we would have to have a separate dish for each location. I think, for now, there's so much stuff here to move. Okay, I would like to change ice to LDS here. I don't think we're necessarily going to be... Uh, we're going to have a specific destination for ice. And we could always just do its own thing here to put it on the sushi belt if needed. So it's not going to be part of this system. Why is there coal here? What... How? Oh no, it stacks to 50. That's probably why. Did I... I forgot to change this to 8,000. Whoops. LDS only stacks to 50 as well. Um, it's not that much coal that I have to move. How about we just put it in a few chests here for the moment. Okay. There's still a bit too much coal in here as well. I want to make sure we empty the belt here. Oh, I should have removed it from this one. That's fine. Okay. So we are requesting LDS. Um, I'm surprised we don't already have a train 
coming with it. Uh, where is the LDS? It does, in fact, stack to 50. What have we got down here? LDS is being built. Uh, so where is it going? We've got 5.2k. I don't know, apart from... Apart from the systems building uh, cannon shells, which should have been satisfied a while ago, I don't know where our LDS is going. Uh, this looks like it's stopped. Oh, we're already delivering LDS here. Maybe I should not worry about picking it up from this station specifically. We could just split from this. There's not that much LDS left over here, but that's okay. All right. In fact, I could almost just put this right here. Uh, low density structure. The trouble is controlling the cannons. So, currently saying we're only asking for plastic at the moment in this system because this is set to ice let's change it to LDS 5000 LDS oh wait we want to do the delivery cannon capsule recipe. We don't necessarily need to use this symbol, but we may as well keep it and not change all of these, and it'll make sense conceptually. Uh, low density structure. Fantastic. Okay. So first of all, uh, C has to be equal to zero. Oh, it doesn't send anything down unless C equals zero. Okay, so that's taken care of up here. Good. So we know this is empty if this thing is saying, please send up LDS and plastic, for example. Um, if... Well, we're probably not going to use this anymore. Um, I'll leave it there for reference, just in case I'm wrong. And apparently... Apparently we're asking for coal, concrete, iron plate, LDS, and plastic upstairs. How much have we got of each thing? Over 11k stone brick. That doesn't seem right. No, this is all local. So, what? Input signals. Hold on. Where is this? Concrete. No, this is outputting... All of these. We've got how much stone brick? 11,000. It, if it's less than 10,000 output recipe delivery cannon capsule stone brick. Oh no, that's... Yeah, no, I misread it. Okay, so concrete, that would be correct. Uh, iron plate. Yep. Coal. So we've got 
copper, vulcanite block, and stone brick, and a bit of plastic, glass. Yeah, no, that looks right. Okay, cool. So what we need to do is, I think, have delivery cannons with specific recipes. Um, we'll need to feed the LDS to the delivery cannon directly, and we'll have a um, uh, we'll have an inserter picking up from the belt containing delivery cannon capsules. The condition on it is going to be. Uh, the LDS delivery cannon capsule recipe here is going to have to be greater than zero. And if we just have one or a few delivery cannons, even if they fire a few times, it shouldn't be a problem. So we'll say recipe delivery cannon capsule LDS has to be greater than zero. So that's going to take five seconds. Uh, we're also going to need enough LDS to actually send. Oh, it's not switched on. Okay. Let's say this one targets the right chest. Switch it on. So once we've got some LDS up here, that didn't take long. But while this is not empty, we're outputting C and we're outputting nothing over here. Are you going to fire again soon? Okay, I want to see this in action this time. Uh, this should stop outputting while there's anything in the chest. Perfect. And that gives us a stack of LDS. Once we've got 5,000 LDS uh, in these chests, not so much on the sushi belt. So that, oh, that's set wrong. Okay. Uh, LDS less than 100. Okay, cool. I guess it's fine that we have 150 LDS on the belt. All right, there we go. That's starting to look pretty good. So if we do it this way, we just have to make sure we don't fire 40, uh, more than 40 cannons at the same delivery cannon chest at the same time, which is obviously not going to be too much trouble. Um, it's obviously going to be a pain to move all of this stuff. I think I'll use picker dollies to move the chests and I'll deal with the chests off stream. Um, I kind of would like to... I don't know. Maybe I should take the LDS from here. Uh, that means we could also do heat shielding from here, copper plate from here. I don't think we can send explosives up this way. Oh, we can. So that's one, two, three, four items that we can send via cannon that we just happen to be having delivered here so that we can make the delivery cannon capsules. That means we could easily do at least 14 um, different resources in this location. Given the size that we've got to work with and that we could do uh, more drop-off stations down here, we should probably be able to do, let's see, one, two, we're not gonna send um, 
four fragments into orbit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, thirteen. Probably not wood. Let's let's just suppose we send everything, um, except for like core fragments and barrels. Like worst case scenario, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen, uh, twenty-three, twenty-eight, thirty-two. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about forty-one. We can obviously fit forty-one, uh, delivery cannons here. We've got eighty already. It's just a question of fitting the, um, fitting the resources and belts and stuff. Let's do a deconstruction planner for now. Um, I'll hijack this one. Blacklist. Steel chest. And... Get rid of most of this. Gonna take a moment. Meanwhile, we should have our labs. The, the chest is like mostly full, actually, so that's gonna be more than enough to make our space labs. Um, I think we'll take up some extra processing units, batteries, LDS, big electric motors. Uh, this one, we've already got batteries, LDS could maybe be a couple of stacks. How many do we need? F Oof. We need most of a stack of LDS for each lab. Well, we're sending LDS up there, that wouldn't be a problem. Processing units, we could do 20 labs. Electric motors, uh, 10 labs. I think there's some more upstairs. Though I would rather keep them up there for now. So let's do a bigger request for this. And then a processing unit is fine. All right, that should be enough. Where did my deconstruction plan go? Yeah, we're not going to be using that logic. That's going to be fine. I might do a trash train pickup to get rid of this stuff. And then... Actually, I don't know if I'll even be able to do a logistic request for those... ...and capsules. Yeah. So I don't want to lose them in that case. Yeah, it's getting tempting to actually just destroy them at this rate. Hey, Alphonse. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm dumb. I make nice build for recycling, outputting three ores separated each on its own belt. Then I load all belts into one rocket. <laughs> yes. What? I, I fail to see the problem. What's wrong with this? Did I do a long arm like this? Not really. Uh, 
I could just throw together something so we can do one cannon for each resource. But what I really want to do right now is just get some labs up in space. Let's go. Also, I might need some energy. Bots go burr. Uh, maybe I should have put the delivery cannons in a chest over there. It's probably going to be fine. 20 or 40 is probably going to be more than we need. Okay. We're a bit overloaded on random stuff now. Oh, that's even more extra. I'm not going to need blue belt up in space. Save some inventory. I should probably get some more space belt. And turn on my personal logistics. That might help. Uh, this just costs space pipe, right? Well, it's more dense anyway. Let's see how full my inventory gets. I don't... I, I will need a few productivity modules. I won't need 30 beacons. Wait. B-E-A-C. How does that find low density structure? Oh, it means there's 50 on the way. Never mind. There it is. And they don't need burner labs. I don't need locomotives. Uh, that's a lot of space belt. I thought I requested more big electric motors. I did. There's 148 on the way. Don't need centrifuges. And I guess the rest is okay. I don't really want to bother leaving the artillery remote behind. Uh, signals, chain signals we might need. My SpaceX base is not even relatively that expensive. How so? And do we really need burner inserters in space? Probably not. Extensive, okay. Oops. Okay, I don't want to go too overboard getting rid of logistic requests. Otherwise, it'll be a pain to replace them. Uh, I definitely don't need pipe right now, though. I'm really tempted, the more I think about it, to shoot some of these chests, or at least take everything else out of them and leave the specific uh, cannon capsules. What I should have done, actually, now that I think about it, is removed this empty inserter's hands. Except then I would have had to add some logic for precise loading of resources into each cannon. Yeah, it would be difficult and unnecessary. Um, I think crafting combinators are not really the way to go for delivery cannons.
Okay, why do I keep getting chain signals back? Are we just about done with that? This'll do. Alright, let's ride a rocket up, shall we? And we'll take the one with 50k uh, space platform scaffold in it. We're targeted at scaffold, which I think is this one. Yep, it is empty. Good. And I think that's it. Time to go. How much uh, LDS do we have here? 1.5k. Yeah, I think literally just like one or maybe four cannons at the most is going to keep up with our throughput for this base anyway. Alright. Launch? Question mark? Launch exclamation mark. Oh no, that is not what I had in mind. Um, bye bye bots. I guess that's fine. Also, I am suffocating. Um, can we maybe fix that? Wait. The bots followed me to space. Um, okay then. Uh, how about... How about I put this pipe and space belt in here? <laughs> well, that's one way to... Well, it's actually not a way to get more stuff up into space because it had to take up these stacks here. Alright, I've got enough of an empty inventory to swap over now. And... Let's do some building. I need... <gasps> no! You're joking. I left the electric labs behind. You know what? I am... going... to... send them up. We're not going to get a science launch for a while. Technical Hedgehog, thank you for the bunk. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I would say that is well deserved. Um, yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to send up all of the labs. And... Anything else we can think of, I guess. How about we also bring some space belt? Let's put it on another combinator. And this. And this. And pipe. Let's say... You know what, let's let's go nuts. Why not, uh, like, ten stacks of each of these? I think we have it. Anything else we should bring up? That's probably getting to be a... What is that? Arco link storage. A container linked by extra dimensional space to other containers? The links of the container depend on the surface it is first placed on. That sounds OP. And probably extremely hard to get. Kinda cool. 
is there anything else I should be sending up? How about space assembly? Ender chest? Ender chest. Hey, I'm away. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, it's always something. I would say checklist manifesto, but I would have forgotten to put it on the checklist, probably. Also, this sushi belt is looking even more full than I remember it. We need to start consuming from it. Okay, Nervous Orbit Science. We're still requesting... It might take a little while to... What should I even do up here while we wait for that? Um, we could work towards recreating this uh, first line of science. So we need to do this. Let's figure out where it's going to go. Um, I need some space assemblers. We could sing some songs while we wait. <laughs> Fill it with science? It'll be filled with science automatically when the time comes. Um, although I guess we could do that as well, but that's going to create like a million bot jobs. Take these. And these. And not those. Um... Kind of a mess over here, honestly. Okay. So we start by making a rough data storage substrate. From those, we we require those for a polished data storage substra uh, substrate with chemical gel. Oh, that was a different kind of machine, wasn't it? Uh, decontamination facility, just like this. We're going to need to actually build one. Decon. It's made in a space manufactory or a space assembler. We need vulcanite block and space pipe. Okie dokie. Vulcanite block is over here. Space pipe is... I definitely brought a lot of it. It's up here somewhere. And then... Uh, decon. I hope I'm not going to run out of... Nah, this only needs six. Actually, I think I only brought enough big electric motor to make exactly the right number of space labs, but there's like a few hundred up there as well. Come to think of it, we could probably make some more up here, although we wouldn't get a productivity bonus. Big electric motor requires... Electronic circuits, small electric engine, steel, and lubricant. We can definitely manage that. Alright, so a decontamination facility is required to make polished data storage substrate. There's a couple of ways to make it, but I picked the one that uses chemical gel. Um, I think it was for a couple of reasons. We actually get more... Well, it costs more petroleum. It's more water efficient than the other option. But more importantly, we don't get contaminated cosmic water as a byproduct from making it this way. I thought this did make scrap, though. This says 1% scrap. This says nothing. But I remember having to deal with scrap up here. Yeah, so 
Rough data storage substrate, 50% scrap. 50% scrap. Rough. Oh, right. That's not polished. Derp. Okay, cool. So, let's see. Once we have that, that goes back on the belt. There's no waste product. That's pretty easy. Uh, let's see if we can place this somewhere intelligent. I could just have it directly take from here. But then it's not connected to the main... Uh, the main thing. That's not quite going to work. Where do I want to do this? That seems pretty good. That seems very good. Okay, we'll have to deal with the scrap, but we could take glass and iron plate from here. Um, kind of need to Might have to change the belt a bit here, so that we can prioritize this side. Maybe. So, glass and iron plate from the sushi belt. Rough data storage substrate goes straight in here. Uh, polished data goes straight onto the sushi belt. Do we put scrap onto the sushi belt, or do we deal with it directly? I think we probably sushi belt it, right? Uh, because surely we're going to end up with more than one thing that makes scrap. And we can have a central recycling facility to deal with that. Um, again, just like with some of these items, I wonder if we should even bother counting the scrap items on the sushi belt, since we just have to output them. But if anything, it's better to know the count than not to. You go first, Veltek. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going to do a uh, red wire to say we're taking off the belt. Read hand contents pulse. No condition. And I'm just going to leave this here until I'm absolutely sure this is the design I want to settle on. Uh, we would need a filter inserter to add scrap to the belt. And we count that on green wire, read belt content. Uh, read hand contents pulse, no condition, just a scrap filter. Then we put this here, and then like so. I'm pretty sure I'm happy with this. And we'll do another. Can I copy this to here and get read hand contents pulse, no condition? Yes, indeed. All right, cool. So that will be polished data substrates onto the sushi belt, not to mention scrap. Um, and we do want to stop once there's like, let's say a hundred on the belt. Or we could do what we did up here and where do the polished go? Move it this way. Which machine uses polished data substrate? It's this one. And it's not anything else. Okay. We could have this machine. Do, do I have some spare space manufactories? Doesn't look like it. I think it's this machine up here that's in a convenient spot to 
change the recipe to this. Factory. Yep. Yeah. So we need this, 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 and this. And even more LDS. Wow. And e even more LDS. Okay. Take that. So it doesn't require any fluid inputs. Um, just a few things off the sushi belt. We could probably limit this to just like... Well, for now, we could limit it to one, honestly. Or maybe like four, whatever. I, the point is I don't want it actually doing a lap if it doesn't have to. I'm sure we'll find something else that needs polished data st substrates eventually. I guess there's no harm in putting extra on the belt. Let's just limit it to 100. Like, will be the default for most things until we get a feel for it. So then we're going to take items off the belt, read hand contents pulse, no condition, and then blank data card goes onto the belt. That's going to be green wire. I think that's going to be fine. We'll not connect it up until this is all finalized. So then we've got our blank data cards, which we can put onto the sushi belt if we so desire. For now, there's only going to be one use for them. So we'll do it like this. Um, I need... I kind of wish I hadn't connected the chemical gel up here. There's no... I'm going to have to delete like a hundred of it. It's fine. Alright. We'll probably bring thermofluid up this way. Also, how is our... Is this thing loaded? Not quite. Not even close. That's disappointing. We haven't actually loaded any of the labs because we're loading one thing at a time over here. Um, I guess I could do an each. We'll end up overloading some items and we'll have to take them out, but that's okay. Otherwise we'll be waiting forever. All right, let's go up here for more pipe. And I should have got some different lengths as well. Wait, are they not here? Um, I guess not. Okay. We've got a few different lengths over here. 753. Sure. You'll need a lot. Uh, I'm not sure what we need a lot of, but the answer is yes. And we need to... Well, let's build the supercomputer first. Supercomputer... We need LDS and a space manufactory. I think there's a bunch of LDS in the space manufactory. Yes, indeed. Supercomputer. Just the one for now. And then 
So it outputs thermofluid. It needs cool thermofluid. Um, is this... This is regular thermofluid. Okay. So we need a thermal thingy. Um, just like up here. Now that I think about it. To cool the thermofluid. make one of these or do we need a space manufactory again that's relatively cheap let's go do it now whoops 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 uh one of these please And I'll just remove that for now. Okay. So we've got our thermal reactor. The only recipe it has right now is cool thermofluid to negative 10. A supercomputer needs... That's not going to fit very well. Well, actually... Um... Supercomputer, when it makes machine learning data. Uh, five in, five out. Thermofluid warms up to 25 degrees. Uh, this thermofluid is 25 degrees, right? Yeah. And we're not producing it unless this is uh, sufficiently empty. Less than 12k. Okay, cool. Why is there no sulfur? Because there's no petroleum. Because there's no ice. Okay. So we don't need to have a separate storage uh, for the coolant over here. We can just pipe this straight back into uh, this thing. Maybe we'll do it like this. And like so. Is that it? It also makes scrap. Um, I'm already glad I decided to put scrap on the belt. So... We also need green circuits, red wire for taking stuff off the belt, green wire for putting stuff onto the belt, and maybe that would have looked better if I changed the uh, chain the wire from over this way. doesn't reach. Okay. I could move that one closer. Hmm. Maybe if I do it like this. Whoa. Nope. Caught me by surprise being able to move that. Let's conserve our wire, shall we? Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better, I guess. Okay. We could also just insert this directly, but... Might be something else that requires, um... Like, data cards. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We definitely don't have a sixer. I guess I'll connect it this way, and that isn't going to work. We don't want that connecting. 
Um, yeah, we're definitely going to need more undergrounds here. That's fine, I guess. I wish they included, uh, like, three length pipes that do and don't connect on the sides, for example. You'll need a lot of polished data substrate. Okay, we can always make more of these. We can add more machines. And we could do it anywhere on the sushi belt. This is just convenient. So what's the next step? Uh, I think it's this one. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, that's making thermofluid. We're already doing that. So then we just need satellite telemetry, actually. I completely forgot that that was a thing. And solid fuel. We can't send solid fuel up on... Well, we can make solid fuel here. Everything else is either on the belt already, or we'll have to add something for that. Uh, cosmic gel. Okay, let's figure this out. Let's get ourselves another space manufacturing. And... That's all. Okay. So if this is going to be a uh, rocket science pack, we're going to need to make solid rocket fuel. Oh. We also need to pipe in... Oh, that's a, that's a way we could have connected these. Except that's going... It goes there. But yeah, we can do this a bit more cleanly, like so. Uh, and then realize that that doesn't connect. Whoops. Surely I can come up with something better for the placement of these pipes. One, two, three, four, five, 